An innovation for a local community today can become a global solution tomorrow. That's why NGOs and other organizations are turning to designers for innovative and sustainable solutions to approach the needs of economically challenged areas. Today we have a first Design for Impact event organized by the West College University. Uh, we're showing um, cases done by students and uh, we have inspirational talks around Design for Impact. A great example is this idea for a D-Miner. The idea grew out of the designer's youth in Afghanistan. It's, uh, it's actually, it was inspired by a childhood toy. We used to play on the deserts and so on. So, in those places we were really dangerous, you know, full of explosives, landmines uh, and so on. Uh, there was a moment that I thought I want to make them bigger, you know, stronger and more sophisticated for the same locations. So if now they roll uh, over a landmine, they're going to detonate the landmine. So if it uh, would help uh, a lot of people, yeah, that, that, that would be really great, I guess. But for the future, we need uh, really uh, organizations who can fund this project as well to save uh, some uh, ground uh, and some lives. You know. The Hoest students were also challenged to design an object that would create an impact. Uh, in the cadre of our opleiding on the Hoest, we had to for an industrial product to make an industrial product. We had to create a small business. And for us, that was Cube uh, with our product, the Vira. And that is a warm steen that is produced in Peru. Um, dat je kan opwarmen naast het vuur, dat is gemaakt uit basalt. En uh, door zijn goede thermische eigenschappen kun je dat in de slaapzak leggen of meenemen in de slaapzak en zo krijg je dat lekker warm. Of kun je de eerste koude momenten overwinnen in de slaapzak. So what exactly is at the heart of Design for Impact? For me personally, it means that I can do actually something useful with my brains and with all the knowledge and experience that I studied for and that I've gained over years and create products that yeah, actually mean something uh, to people instead of uh, yeah, only designing the next uh, useless luxury product.